Welcome. In this Ignitia tutorial, we'll take a quick tour of your Ignitia site so you'll know how to get around and accomplish the things that you need to do in the most efficient way. Start by entering your school's Ignitia URL into the address bar. This will take you into your login screen. Remember that you will not include the www at the beginning of the URL as this will not get you to your school's Ignitia site. From the login screen, you can review the program's terms of use by clicking this link. You will need to accept these terms the first time that you log in in order to continue using the site. From the login screen, enter your username and password and click the Ready, Set, Learn button. Now that you're logged in, let's take a look at the row of navigation tabs at the top of the screen. The tabs you see are dependent on the type of access that you have. Right now, we're logged in as an admin so we can see all of the available tabs. Let's take a brief look at each tab. The Home tab is your starting screen. Here you will see your site's welcome message and message of the day. The box on the left hand side will display any messages that you have received from all other Ignitia users on your site. If you are a teacher of record, the right side of your home page will also show you any actions that you need to complete to ensure your student's progress. At the bottom of the home page, you will also see the most recent assignment alerts for your students. The Assignment Alerts tab gives you a high-level overview of daily student assignment progress including scoring and attempts information, assignment status, and a direct link to student work. Admins and super teachers can see assignment information for all students, while teachers can see this information for only their students. The School Settings tab is where site administrators will determine default settings and permissions within the site. This tab is available to only admins. The Teacher Admin tab is where site administrators create and manage teacher accounts. This tab is also only available to admins. The Students tab is where student accounts are created and managed. This page will also allow you to create student groups which can be used for monitoring and enrolling specific groups of students. Admins and super teachers will be able to see all students, while teachers will only be able to see their own students. Admins set the permissions that determine what teachers and super teachers can do within this page. The Parents tab is where parent accounts are created and managed. This tab is visible to admins, but access can be given to teachers and super teachers as well. The Course Enrollment tab is where student course enrollments are managed. Permissions will determine what teachers and super teachers are able to do on this page. The Gradebook tab allows you to enroll students into courses. It is also where you view and monitor student progress at the course, unit, and assignment levels. Within the student's gradebook, you can make adjustments such as assignment status changes and grade overwrites. This tab also contains a repository for any actions needed for each student. The Courses tab is where all available courses can be previewed. This tab is also where the course customization takes place. You can find more information about course customization in our video tutorials at aopschools.com. The Reports tab allows you to generate data on various aspects of student activity in the program. For admins, this also includes teacher activity. And lastly, the Messages tab is where messages between users are created, sent, received, and saved within the program. Now that you know what's here, let's go over a few tools to help you find what you need and to get you around faster. Several of the pages include columns that can be organized alphabetically in ascending and descending order simply by clicking on them. If you're looking for something specific, place your cursor underneath the empty box under the column heading and start keying. After the third letter, the list will show filtered results based on what you've keyed. You will see these search tools throughout the Ignitia site. Within the Course Enrollment and Gradebook tabs, 
you will see a box towards the top of the page. This box will allow you to enter details that will filter your search. For example, by using the search options, you can view information by student name, student ID, and campus ID. You can also filter by student or enrollment status, subject, course, or by teacher. Additionally, from the Gradebook tab, you can even search by group. Once the criteria is entered, click the search button and the results will show below. Now let's take a look at another great navigation tool. It's called the Go To button and you will see it in several locations within the site. Here it is in the Students tab. The purpose of this button is to filter tab information to a specific user. For example, if you want to look at the student's gradebook to view performance on a specific assignment, you could click on the gradebook tab and use the search options that we discussed in order to find out more information about that student. But there's a faster way. If you click the Go To button next to the student's name underneath the Controls column, a drop-down appears and gives you several options. If you choose Gradebook from this list, you will be taken to the Gradebook tab and your student's course information will populate automatically. You'll also notice that when you're viewing student work, you will not see the navigation bar or the tabs. Instead, you'll see the Go To button, which you can use to navigate out of the assignment. Finally, when you've finished working in Ignitia, to log out of your site and to end the session, click the Logout button. If you have further questions or would like more information, please contact Technical Support at 800-735-4193. And select option 1. Thank you for viewing this Ignitia tutorial.